Here's Clarendel 2010 Bordeaux. This, of course, is the wine that comes to us from the, um, the Dillon family estate, owners of uh, Chateau Aubryon. <laughs> Clarence Dillon purchased the chateau back in uh, 1935. So Prince Robert of Luxembourg, his grandson, I guess, is now the proprietor, runs the estate. And this is a wine that they make that's um, meant to be uh, a very affordable, very uh, approachable Bordeaux wine with an essence of Aubryon. Um, they're sourcing grapes, of course, from all of their vineyards, um, including the Aubryon vineyard, the Mission Aubryon vineyard, all of their estates. putting together a, um, a really nice, easy drinking, but quality Bordeaux. They do oak aging on it, um, but then they do um, extended bottle age so that the wine, when the wine is released, it's, it's approachable, it's ready to, to enjoy. It's primarily Merlot. Um, the blend varies every vintage, depending on um, how the grapes turn out. <laughs> but they've got uh, Merlot, Cab Sauvignon, and Cab Franc in here. Of course, 2010 was outstanding, outstanding vintage. So that's good. <laughs> the nose is so nice. It's really nice. Um, I get that olive tapenade, along with those black currants. Hmm. A little bit of a tobacco, like pipe tobacco note in there also. Hmm. Some licorice. Right. Mm. Yeah, this is sort of really nicely composed. Um, all the flavors coming together in a very sort of supple, um, velvety um, mid palate. A little bit of a chewiness but um, very, very ready to drink. It has some nice complexity to it. You know, you get those, those sweet notes from the, from the black currant notes, get some of those sort of uh, more um, savory, you know, those black olive notes, and then you also get these sort of um, earthy tones, more tobacco-y, uh, woodsy, and it all really comes together. Get a nice lingering finish. A little hint of licorice on the finish. Um, you know, clearly this is a wine that you could let continue to age for another two or three or six years. But it's so nice now. <laughs> Happy drinking.